movie watchers. I'm Smokey and he's Elvis, identical twins that love movies. And today we're going to tell you about the voices. So our um, mom says we can pick a movie from Redbox and we tell her there's a nice movie where Ryan Reynolds is talking to animals. Sounds peachy, right? So she zips her card and we put in our poker faces. <laughs> What mom doesn't know is that Ryan Reynolds does some major chopping up of bodies and packaging them in large quantities of bloody Tupperware. Ryan, one of our man crushes, right brother? Absolutely brother. Well, he's sort of a schizophrenic who's mostly not taking his drugs, so he's in a world of his own. He lives in an apartment upstairs from a cool vintage bowling alley, which is one of the characters in the movie. When he's on his meds, he sees the reality of his horrible bloody surroundings, and when he's not, everything is normal except, of course, for the talking dog and cat. Elvis, my brother, that Mr. Whiskers cat is totally your evil twin. Yeah, he scared me, and he had a real potty mouth, except for I did like his Scottish accent. Bosco the dog was the orange cat's total opposite. He was so sweet and was really Jerry's best friend. Smokey, I didn't know Ryan Reynolds was so talented playing five characters. Well, six if you count both singing butterflies. Wait, what about the fish? That makes seven. I'm not sure about the butterflies. Anyway, Jerry is working in this Art Deco kind of factory where all the guys wear pink jumpsuits and he falls for two of the ladies in the accounting department. One is played by British Gemma Arterton that we loved in Tamara Drew, oh, short shorts, and she looks beautiful leading the conga line dance at the factory. Anna Kendrick can't wait to see Pitch Perfect 2 is his other love. This factory setting is a sweet, innocent, visually spectacular balance to the gory, bloody photography moments that are equally spectacular but kind of want to make you throw up. Yeah, brother, I threw up in the nightmares I had after seeing the voices. Well, we thought there were many funny moments in this movie. Good writing, you know, dialogue and such. Especially, of course, we liked um, the cat's potty mouth. <laughs> Learned some new phrases we could get in big trouble with. <laughs> yeah, brother. One of our favorite parts of this movie was actually the beautiful song and dance number during the credits at the end. They sang a song called, Sing a Happy Song. Whoa, say that five times fast, brother. Anyway, it was like everyone went to heaven, the part of heaven where you dressed really nice in coordinated outfits with your friends. I think they did it so you wouldn't be left so haunted by the uncomfortable amount of bloody stuff and dismembered bodies. Well, just to let you know, the DVD has lots of great informative special features. The animatronics is pretty fascinating and deleted and extended scenes. Well, we personally couldn't get enough of this movie, even if it does make us a little nervous to look in the refrigerator these days. Also, if you're interested in the movie process, you may find the electronic storyboard stuff educational. I'm Smokey, and he's Elvis, and we think that you would enjoy watching the voices, and the visions of Tupperware will eventually go away, we hope. Um, that's it for this week. See ya. Bye.